guys, it's Carlos with DAS Audio again, here to talk about DAS Control for the Event 26A. So, on the screen we have the default screen with very useful information on it. On the left side of the screen is the signal input. On the right side of the screen is the process signal output. This is post any processing done in the onboard DSP settings. And in the middle are the current status settings of this particular box. Number of units, which is in one unit mode now, downfield mode, which is off, and any delay if applied, which at this point is 0.0. .0. These are the default settings for this cabinet. If we press on the encoder, we're taken to the main menu. Here we can adjust the number of units. Six different settings from one to 12 units. And yes, it should match the number of boxes that you're using. Next is downfill. This preset is applied to the bottom boxes of an array to tame the high frequency response. In essence, this helps to avoid killing the audience members closest to the system. A delay can also be applied here, adjustable from 0.0, .0 up to 9.9 .9 meters, or 33 feet. Remember, if applied to one box in an array, it should be replicated to all the boxes in that array. And then in the Options submenu, you will find settings to adjust the display, brightness, and dimming of the display, as well as a menu lock feature so you can lock out somebody with a password. The delay units can be changed from meters to feet, and if you needed to do a quick reset of the device, you do that right here. Back into the bottom of that menu, There's information about this box, of course, the model number, 26A, and most importantly, the firmware that it's currently set to. Any future firmware updates are available on our website at www.dosaudio.com. So it's that easy, DOS Control for the Event 26A.